Hello everybody and welcome to the Cinepax YouTube channel. Today we are going to be going over some awesome free paint effects that you can get from Cinepax.com. Completely free, you can use it for any projects whatsoever. So we're going to jump into DaVinci Resolve and see what we can make out of them. As always, go over to Cinepax.com, over to the free section, and find the paint free sample pack and add it to your cart. Then just slide on over to the checkout and you can put whatever you want here. Your email is the only thing that matters because that's where you're going to get the download link. Alright, now once you have the file downloaded, you're going to have to unzip it. So double click on it to open it up and as you can see, you'll have all your files inside of here. And in order to unzip them, you're going to want to click on all the video files and drag them outside of the zip file. Either that or click extract all. And by doing that, you're going to get them out of the zip file and they'll be ready to use in DaVinci Resolve. And as usual, I went ahead and just went to our media tab. I found my assets over here and I just dragged them all into my media pool. So with that all set, let's go ahead and start editing. So as I said before, these are all completely free. You can use them for any of your projects. They're all 4K Apple ProRes with transparency. So they're quite literally just drag and drop and you can start messing with them. We got this goo here. We also got this awesome paint slashing like scratch effect here. Uh, we also have a crazy splatter effect here. If you play that through. And then we also got this cool ink sort of paintbrush X. All right, so to mess with any of these, all you have to do is quite literally just drag them right on top of your footage. And if you play it through, you can see it overlays perfectly and you got a cool, awesome gooey effect there. I personally want to speed this up just a little bit. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go to change clip speed. And I don't know, let me crank that up to like eh, 140. And click change. And if we play that through, there it goes just a little bit faster for me. Now you can 100% change the colors of these as well. So if you just click on it and go into the color page, um, right over here in your color wheels here, I would just mess with your offset. So go ahead and I don't know what color do I want to make it. We could sort of contrast with the, the green of the footage and sort of go into a pink. If I drag it up, you can see it starts to tint it with a nice pink color. Now, on top of this though, I kind of want to bring in a little bit more of my saturation. So I'll bring up the saturation just a little bit and maybe bring up the shadows a little bit so they have a little more contrast here and it makes a nice shiny pink overlay. Uh, let's give it a little bit more of a, of a warmer pink. There we go. I like that. So if we go back over to our edit page, you can see that the color has been completely changed. So that works out perfectly for us. Now, another cool thing that you guys can mess with is blending modes. Now, I am personally a huge fan when it comes to these paint effects of just messing with crazy abstract, like colorful blending modes. So if I drag this one on, you can see we have these epic paint splatter effects. So if we wanted to change the colors of these, we can do that as well. Go over to the color page and just shift the hue, just like we did before on the offset knob. As you can see, because it's white, it's retaining a pretty bright color. So I'm gonna go ahead and shift our saturation up quite a bit. That way we get a really solid color and maybe bring the shadows down a little bit so the edges kind of have a cool uh, shadow effect to them. Now, if we go back over here, what I wanna do is I'm gonna duplicate this by holding down Alt and dragging. Let's go like three times and let's offset these a little bit. So they kind of appear at different times and we can put them like right there. Now, once I drag these out, I wanna change the color of each of these. So let's go on to the next one and let's just shift this one to maybe more of a pinkish, short sort of, and more of a red, I think. Um, and then let's go to the third one and change this one to maybe like, a, I don't know, maybe this one will be pink. I wanna kinda of keep sort of cotton candy colors. And once we have a different color for each of these, what we can do is select all of them and change the composite mode for all of them to something like difference. And by doing that, you can see when all of them overlap, you get really cool abstract colors. Not only are each of the layers reflecting with each other, but they're also affected by the base layer of your footage. As you can see, you're getting really abstract colors with it reacting with the light here. And also as it goes over this guy's pants, you can still see the wrinkle and the shape of his pants through the colors. And then as the bubbles overlap with each other, you can see the colors just come out completely abstracted. I personally love this effect. You can use it in a bunch of different situations. I just think it makes a really cool abstract effect. And this would probably be really cool for some like awesome graphics or something. 
If I wanted to extend these out, they're completely loopable. So just hold down Alt, drag all of these out. And as you can see, then it'll just loop them so they play a little bit longer and you can just loop them out however long you want. Other cool footage that we have to mess with is this cool scratch effect here. So if we play this through, you can see it's an awesome paint splatter effect. You could use that as like a transition for something, which we kind of did right there already, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can change the color of this, of course, as well. Go over to the color page and you can shift the offset here. However, I would suggest since this is already red, just go ahead and slide the hue marker around. And as you can see, it makes changing the color super easy and it will just shift the hue through the slider. One of the last things that we can mess with is these cool X's here, which you can just drag in and it makes the cool little kind of gooey, like oily X. Just messing around, you can like track them. Like I did a little bit of a blur effect here, track here. So if you wanted to do something like that, I would just start your frame out where you want to start tracking. And I just did all of these by hand since everything's moving so slowly and kind of easy to mess with. And especially since our scene is so dark, it's a lot easier to do it with our own eyes than try to leave it up to the computer. So I would open up your transform on the first keyframe, go ahead and keyframe it. And let's go ahead and shrink this down. Find a spot where you want the X to sort of track to. Um, I don't want it tracking on him or anything. We can put another one like right there maybe. Um, shrink it down a little bit more. Um, so then we just have a few tracking in the background. Um, from there, you can go ahead and go a few frames forward and just keep it positioned in the right spot. And you can just do that for all of them. And once you do that, if you want to add a little final touch to it, you can go ahead and add a little bit of a blur, which I did for one of these. I'm trying to give this a sort of oily, un, like unsettling effect here uh, because it feels like it's in the frame and it's just these dark sort of X's in the frame, which kind of look cool. Um, so I do think adding a little bit of a blur helps with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just blur this out just a little bit right there. And if we play that through, as you can see, we have a few X's tracked in and it's a pretty eerie kind of concept. And that about just wraps it up for us today. Um, one thing I wanted to do though, just messing around, why don't we take these splats that we made earlier and I told you that we could make like a cool graphic or title out of them and I wouldn't mind trying to do that. So if we were to grab this and go over to our media pool, no, the effects library, let's go over to generators and let's grab a solid somewhere, solid color right there. And let's just drag this underneath all of them. That way we can get a solid white color and switch this to white. Now in doing that, that kind of ruined the blend mode colors that we were getting. So instead of having these all on difference, let's change it to like something like multiply and that will get us our cool colors back and have them blending really neat again. Now let's keep going, go over to our titles and let's just add a basic text. And if we put that in the center here, what I wanna do is kinda of do a cool little text reveal. So let's grab this and change our text color to something like black so it stands out a little bit. And there it is. On top of that, let's mess with our font, make it a little bit more of a, something like that, that looks cool. All right, why don't we give this a little bit of animation here. So why don't we go to the front of it and let's keyframe this and let's make it smaller and then go to the end of it and make it bigger so it zooms a little bit. And I think that looks cool. Now the final thing I wanna do is use this cool ink transition to reveal the title. All right, now to do that, why don't we right click on it, change it to a compound clip, that way we can edit it in Fusion, uh, which probably should've just used a text plus, but uh, we're, we're here now, so no turning back. Now, to use this, as our transition, all we gotta do is drag it in and drag it onto the media in. And we drag it into the blue node because the blue node is the mask. So then it will use this as an alpha and it's gonna be a simple, just sort of very large wave, but I think it looks nice. Let's go to our keyframe and as you can see, I want it to reveal right around here, but nothing's happening. So if we click our media in two, which probably should rename this so we keep track of everything to uh, let's just goo so I know it's the, the goo 
um, if we drag this back a little bit right see there we go now we can see it will show up faster so if we drag it right there and play it through there we got this cool little sort of wiping paint ocean reveal um, because it's using the dripping effect from the goo as an alpha mat so go ahead back into the editor and we got a cool little text reveal right there and i personally like it a lot so there you guys go i hope you enjoyed this pack a lot there's a plenty of things that you can build and make with these however if you do want to get the full size pack which has access to plenty more assets than just these few clips here go over to cinepacks.com and grab the full size pack during checkout type in sample 15 sample 15 and that will give you an awesome 15 percent off your order so keep that in mind i hope you guys found this video helpful and as always happy editing